Here in an empty and quiet Tiger Stadium, not much different than it was during the game today. 42,058 fans showed up to watch LSU win a road game or a game as the visitor in Tiger Stadium over an outmatched South Carolina team. For the LSU Tigers, 624 yards of offense on the day today, and they were paced by a fantastic rushing attack. Leonard Fournette on the heels of an 87-yard touchdown run in the second play of the third quarter, goes over 150 yards. Darius Geis, the freshman, actually the leading rusher for LSU at 161 yards. Those two clearly look like they'll be a great one-two punch moving forward in case if Leonard Fournette needs to be spelled. As a matter of fact, a moment ago, Les Miles told us that the reason Leonard Fournette didn't play late in the second half or any of the fourth quarter had nothing to do with injury, just because he felt like they wanted to keep him rested for next week against Florida, which obviously will be a very big task. LSU's going to have their work cut out for them this week as they get ready for the Gators coming into Tiger Stadium. They certainly have some defensive miscues that they have to clean up, and of course allowing a kickoff return for a touchdown is something that isn't going to sit well on special teams this week. Kick coverage was a big point of contention throughout the game. The crowd actually sarcastically cheering at one point after LSU had a couple of pooch kicks, deciding to kick it late and try to cover the kick, doing so successfully. Special teams will obviously be something LSU works on. Defensive uh, coverage blown in the secondary for another consecutive week for LSU. All things to work on this week as LSU prepares to host the Florida Gators. But the Tigers move to 5-0. and They'll maintain a top-10 ranking, no doubt, and they'll have a massive showdown with Florida in Tiger Stadium one week. For the Tigers, status quo, another week, another win. The Tigers roll along at 5-0 and on the 2015 season.